James Webb Telescope has been diligently contributing to scientific progress and has recently unveiled a series of remarkable discoveries. Over the next few minutes, we will delve into the following. The most detailed photo of an alien star system, the detection of water on an exoplanet, the unearthing of the most ancient black hole, and certainly revealing significant insights into the Big Bang theory. Let's commence with a gentle reminder that attempting to capture footage of distant planetary systems represents an exceedingly challenging endeavor. Not only is the closest star located a staggering 430 times farther away than Neptune, but these stars radiate such intense brightness that the adjacent planets appear almost imperceptible. It's akin to trying to discern a minuscule speck of dust on a brilliantly illuminated lead light bulb. Nevertheless, the James Webb Telescope has risen to this formidable task and has generously shared the most comprehensive images available of another star system. And it's a young system, similar to what our solar system was 4.5 billion years ago. The image before you reveals the Fomalhaut system, situated at a distance of 25 light years away. This celestial body holds the distinction of being the brightest star within the constellation known as the Southern Fish, and it ranks among the most luminous stars, gracing our night sky. This heightened brilliance is hardly surprising, given that Fomalhaut surpasses our sun in mass by a factor of 2.5 and outshines it by a remarkable factor of 16. It's worth noting that Fomalhaut is relatively youthful in cosmic terms, as it came into existence after the emergence of dinosaurs on Earth. To provide a rough estimate, Fomalhaut is approximately 300 million years old, and it still remains enveloped in a cocoon of dust and gaseous material, which might eventually give rise to the formation of planets. While scientists had previously obtained images of this celestial commotion, the James Webb Telescope has now unveiled an intricately detailed portrayal. In fact, this depiction is so precise that it marks a historic milestone, allowing us to observe asteroid belts encircling a distant star for the very first time. The level of detail in the photograph is so extraordinary that describing their location hardly seems necessary. The outer belt extends to an impressive distance of 150 astronomical units from the star, equivalent to 150 times the distance from the Earth to the Sun. However, the most astonishing revelation came in the form of the inner ring. Before the advent of the Webb Telescope, scientists were entirely unaware of the second ring's existence. As you can imagine, this discovery raised a logical question. If there exists a second ring, then there must be a planet whose gravitational influence played a pivotal role in its formation. This pattern is easily observed in our own solar system, where Jupiter governs our inner asteroid belt. However, when scrutinizing Fomalhaut through even the most meticulous photographs, no planets are discernible, only small specks that resemble interference. This enigma remains a puzzle that scientists have yet to unravel. In the meantime, let's take a moment to appreciate a fascinating journey back in time. After all, our own sun once bore a striking resemblance to the celestial body you're currently witnessing. Now, let's transition to discussing the second photograph. What you are gazing upon is the ARP 220 galaxy, positioned a staggering 250 million light years distant from Earth. What makes truly exceptional is its radiant intensity, so formidable that you'd require sunglasses to behold its brilliance. ARP 220 surpasses our Milky Way's luminosity by a factor of 100, radiating as though it were the combined light of several trillion suns. This extraordinary luminosity can be attributed to the fact that we're actually witnessing the merger of two galaxies. Approximately 700 million years ago, a cosmic event unfolded as two spiral galaxies converged. In the aftermath, an immense amount of gas coalesced within a region spanning a mere 5% of the Milky Way's size. Over 200 star clusters gathered within this tiny corner of the universe, evolving into a beacon of celestial splendor and serving as the second closest phenomenon of its kind to Earth. Nonetheless, when compared to other remarkable discoveries, CEERS 1019 stands out as a true marvel. Allow Me to Elucidate is a supermassive black hole that has perplexed the minds of scientists. 
The remarkable aspect of this discovery is that the galaxy bearing this name has existed for an extensive period, boasting an advanced age and originating a mere 570 million years after the momentous Big Bang event. However, the advent of the James Webb Telescope in March brought forth a groundbreaking revelation. It confirmed the presence of an enormous black hole within the confines of this galaxy, one with a mass equivalent to a staggering 10 million suns. To describe this discovery as extraordinary would be a colossal understatement. As many of you are likely aware, the universe is continually expanding. Consequently, in earlier epochs, the universe was considerably more compact, leading to a more uniform distribution of mass than what we observe today. Given these conditions, the emergence of a colossal concentration of mass capable of forming a black hole was an exceedingly rare and improbable occurrence. Nonetheless, CEERS 1019 represents precisely such an exceptional case it leaves scientists perplexed as to how these colossal black hole giants, actively consuming matter, emerged in the earlier, more homogeneous, and youthful universe. The exact mechanism remains elusive, but one prevailing theory posits that in the early universe, massive stars, hundreds of times larger than contemporary ones, played a pivotal role. These behemoth stars, upon their explosive demise, transformed into black holes. But again, how then the universe did not slam inside such black holes? Indeed, this mystery extends to the very heart of the Big Bang theory itself. James Webb's discoveries garnered significant attention in early 23, with sensational headlines suggesting that the telescope had refuted the Big Bang theory. It's worth noting that such claims tend to be sensationalized, but some intriguing insights have emerged. In December 2022, the telescope detected several galaxies that appeared nearly 330 million years after the Big Bang. The intriguing twist lies in the fact that these galaxies, including GLASS-13 and CEER, S1749, defy current simulations and theoretical models. As previously mentioned, the early universe was uniform, hotter, and denser, with a greater degree of gravitational equilibrium. According to conventional Big Bang theory, early galaxies were relatively small and rarely attained even 1% of the Milky Way's size. These anomalies raise profound questions about our understanding of the early universe and the mechanisms at play during its formative stages. Indeed, some of the celestial objects uncovered by the Webb telescope present challenges that defy our current models, which may have contributed to the sensationalized claims. However, it's important to exercise caution before making sweeping conclusions. The intricacies arise from the formidable difficulty and cost associated with accurately determining the ages of the galaxies observed by James Webb. It's entirely possible that some of these galaxies could turn out to be significantly older than initial estimations suggest. The ongoing process of research and investigation continues. To date, the age of the four oldest galaxies identified by the telescope has been officially confirmed. The most ancient among them, designated as 1320, came into existence 325 million years after the inception of the universe. Remarkably, its mass aligns with the expectations outlined in the standard model. 1320's relatively diminutive size reaffirms the prevailing Big Bang theory at least for the time being. Now, let's shift our focus to the well-known TRAPPIST, one system. In essence, this system revolves around a red dwarf star, approximately 100 times lighter than the Sun, hosting seven planets that closely resemble Earth. Each of these seven planets boasts a radius that is roughly within a 30 margin of our own planet's size. What's particularly intriguing is that all seven planets occupy orbits between our Sun and Mercury, and given Trappist, smaller stature as a star, the proximity to the planets is not overly detrimental. Several of these planets have garnered serious consideration as potential candidates for hosting extraterrestrial life, an area of particular focus for the James Webb Telescope representing an astonishing feat in the realm of scientific exploration. A groundbreaking achievement occurred as the James Webb Telescope successfully measured the temperature of a planet situated beyond our solar system. In its sights was TRAPPIST, 1b, the foremost planet in the lineup. This celestial body possesses a mass quite similar to that of Earth, 
and despite not residing within the habitable zone, the endeavor to gauge its conditions held immense scientific interest. This pursuit aimed to compare the measured data with theoretical simulations, ultimately distinguishing fact from fiction. The results exceeded expectations. James Webb's measurements indicated a temperature in the vicinity of 230 degrees, merely a negligible deviation from the simulation's predictions. As anticipated, TRAPPIST manifested as an intensely heated celestial entity, resembling a scorching rock akin to Mercury due to its proximity to the star. Remarkably, the theoretical calculations were corroborated by the telescope's experimental findings affirming the virtually assured absence of an atmosphere on TRAPPIST. This alignment between theory and observation marks a significant milestone in our understanding of exoplanetary conditions. Indeed, it's heartening to see that our endeavors to seek extraterrestrial life are not merely speculative pursuits. Another noteworthy discovery in this realm is the confirmation of water vapor in the atmosphere of an exoplanet. This time, the focus is on the planet G486b, which orbits a star bearing the same name and is located 26 light years away from Earth. Much like the previous example, G486b revolves around a red dwarf star in close proximity. What sets G486b is its remarkably short orbital period, completing a full revolution around its host star in just a day and a half. Understandably, the extreme conditions on this planet make the existence of life highly improbable. However, red dwarf stars are the most prevalent type of stars throughout the universe. Consequently, the statistical likelihood of discovering life in proximity to such stars is comparatively higher. This realization motivates scientists to continuously enhance their techniques and approaches for studying exoplanets like G486b bolstering confidence in future findings and expanding our understanding of the potential for life beyond Earth. However, not everything unfolded as initially anticipated as James Webb Observatory detected the presence of water vapor within the exoplanet's atmosphere. Considering the vast distances involved and the inherent challenges in achieving such precision in detection, the quantity of vapor must have been substantial. Yet, the question arises, from where could it originate, especially when discussing a planet with temperatures soaring to 430 degrees Celsius? Scientists are still grappling with this puzzle, but the remarkable feat of detection remains undisputed. The primary inquiry now pertains to its origin, whether it originates from the exoplanet itself or emanates from its parent star. It's worth noting that celestial bodies like our sun also emit water vapor in certain regions, which might come as a surprise, but not necessarily a shock. Essentially, most substances in the universe heavier than helium are ultimately derived from recycled and discarded material from stars, including both ourselves and the elements composing our surroundings. In conclusion, let's talk about the main thing. Nearly all the objects discussed in this video were already recognized by humanity. This might raise concerns, as many were anticipating breathtaking revelations from James Webb, not an in-depth examination of phenomena already well known to astronomers. Nevertheless, this is how the realm of science operates, leveraging Webb's capabilities to scrutinize objects that are visible but blurred in the Hubble's observations proves to be the most cost, effective and efficient approach. This approach ensures that the telescope provides us with the maximum knowledge for every hour of utilization, as the quest for entirely novel discoveries can consume significant amounts of time. However, within Webb's schedule, there is room for pioneering revelations as well. In early 2023, the telescope unveiled its first exoplanet, LHS 475b, previously unknown to scientists. Positioned 41 light years away from Earth, LHS theoretically holds the potential for harboring life-supporting conditions. Subsequently, this exoplanet will undergo thorough examination. For now, we have presented the key updates related to the telescope. If you enjoyed this release and desire more content, please remember to like and comment on the video. Bye.